What's up everybody, my name is Blaze Tiger, back with another video. And I didn't notice that the news dropped a little earlier today. But um, nonetheless, I haven't, let's, let's just take a look and see what we can expect um, from all the things I've been hearing going around. It looks like Festival King is coming. Um, before we get into it, uh, I do want to say, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I know the world's been kind of crazy this year, and you know a lot of unfortunate things have happened to uh, certain individuals, or basically, basically, kind of like the whole world, right? We all kind of took a hit somewhere because of what's been going on in the world. So I hope during your Christmas, during Christmas, you were able to at least find some sort of happiness, and you know, stay positive and look forward to welcoming the new year. It's a brand new year coming, brand new start, and, you know, things will get better. Uh, so I just want to put that out there. Um, and I have been kind of slacking on my videos lately. I haven't been doing any, like, Xbox videos, um, Cyberpunk. I haven't been doing any PlayStation, you know, anything like that. I haven't been doing anything lately. Lately, I've been kind of busy, um, you know, so I've been trying to push out videos here and there. Uh, but with this king with king coming i will be doing a live stream i don't know if i'll be doing it tomorrow again i am i have been kind of busy here and there with certain things um i don't know if i'm going to do it tomorrow but as soon as i get a chance to do the live stream i mean i haven't really been logging into much of my gotcha games anyway like dokkan uh grand cross because of how busy i've been so um once i get a chance to get back to the game I will do a live stream and we will summon for King. Uh, we're going to go deep. We're going deep. I know a lot of people have been saying they're saving for the one. And you know what? I, I'm not going to dispute that, you know. But the only thing I want to say is when Lost Vein came out, everyone, you know, on Global, well, I don't believe the game dropped on Global yet. I, I don't think so. Um, everyone was like, oh, man, I want Lost Vein. I want Lost Vein. Then when Liz came out, everyone was like, oh, let's save for Liz, not Lost Vane. Then King came out, let's save for King, not Liz. Then the one comes out, let's save for the one. So you see the pattern, right? So guys, it's okay if you summon for King. It's okay because you still have January, February, March, March around the 3rd to save stones. You can do one round. I believe it's 900, I think. Uh, if they do in the banner the same way, then I believe... Wait, is this even a, considered a festival banner? I don't think so. I have to go through everything and take a look and see. Um, but you can do one around. If it's the banner's the same, you know, you get them guaranteed copy of them at 900, and then be good. Um, and still have enough stones saved over for... The one. Okay? That's two full months to save. Then the first week of March, you got, you know, there's a bunch of time. You have a lot of time. If you summon on this banner, you have this banner, and then two months of not summoning on anything else, which I really feel like within the next two months, they're going to drop a um, collab, something to make people want to summon before the anniversary. Um, but who knows? But if you decide to summon, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Just don't burn up or burn through all your stones. That's that's all. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at the update. This is the 1228 update. That is tomorrow. Um, and it looks like it will be starting early. So that's cool. And we're getting to 14.5 quest main stages. Um, that's going to talk a little bit more about Gother. Uh, it's been a while since I've read the manga. Um, get a two here, three new heroes. We'll go over them in a moment. Which is crazy that they're adding red. This no, this is actually good because this saves us. Because me personally, I was summoning for her when she came out, even an individual banner or on another banner, I was summoning for her. Um, but there's a chance you have a chance to get all three of them on this banner. So it's a it's a really good banner. From you know he's good, he's good, he's good. I know a lot of people is like oh, he kind of fell off, but in my opinion. He's still relatively good. And for those people that love Keo, his team's right here. <laughs> you got Demon Hendrix, King, K 
key it's it's right here um so we'll go over these three in just a moment able to acquire in the happy new year survey draw get ash and desire demon hendrix for free so you're getting this and this is not a crap unit this is a very good unit and they're giving it to you for free I mean, I would have rather them give her for free because the real prize here are these two. So I would rather her be free. But um, instead of trying to f summon for her, if I, you know, if I got the free copy of her, then I wouldn't have to worry about trying to. Because, you know, once I start summoning, I want to try and six six all three of them, which is going to be a lot. But uh, if not six six all three, six six him, five six five six or four six five six 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 but it's good either way they're giving us demon hendrix for free one copy obviously enjoy new year special missions and get ash and desire demon hendrix and that's his ur gear the missile hendrix uh hendrickson's costume in the new year spin event oh you're getting it for free so that's a SS, uh, i believe that's a ssr gear then which again you can always rank them up to ur um, here's the main mission, main reward for the special mission, you get Hendrix, you have some other rewards for the main mission, I'm sorry, for the uh, special missions, and then his SSR gear, yeah, so I guess on you, um, you hope a lot of you saved a lot of your um, Super Awakening coins, because, you know, obviously you'll like to Super Awaken these two here. <clears throat> With the amount of summons I'm going to do, I'm going to have a butt ton of crowd count, uh, SSR coins anyway, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, it's a training grotto. I really wish they would do something with this. thing is so meh, so boring. Uh, King Special Exchange Shop, cool. Diamond Perks, cool. And here's some buffs. Hero Enhancement goes up, cool. 100%, good, good. Deathmatch holds, okay, cool. Shop discount, platinum coin shop discount for elite demon heroes, sacred treasure shop costume discount. Okay, all right, cool. New costume sets. So these are obviously is for King. I have not decided yet which one I want, but um, you know what? If this one is a UR costume, I'm getting that one. If not, then I'm gonna go for this one. Hawk Pass is back, so that's good there. Clear missions to receive a whole bunch of rewards. Cool. Special rewards can be claimed after purchasing the Hawk Pass. Nice. So it looks like there's a costumes for these two. Yeah. Special New Year bundle. Hero full upgrade bundle. Daily hero. Uh, so this is something that you're going to be able to get daily, but it depends on how much it costs. All right. Um, onslaught. Da, 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 da. Cool. New stamps. These two are going to the draw pool. Um, he's going to the Platinum Coin Shop, System Improvements, da, 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 yeah. So, it do, it looks like he's going to have a normal banner. He's still a festival unit, so he should still be on the, um, the one banner. Uh, but it's not going to be like the festival banner, I believe. Now, more information will come tonight. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not midnight yet. Tomorrow night um, before the update. The update will be starting early, so we should see any if there is any more information, you'll see more information uh, sooner than later tomorrow before the update starts. Um, they'll most likely have like uh, super tag videos and some other stuff that they'll have coming to the game. Um, and that's about it. So let's take a quick look at what these characters can do. So let's go with King. So small wing, proof of growth, small wing King. He's a blue unit, fair race, of course. Guardian punch, first skill. Rank one, inflicts damage equal to 180% of attack on one enemy. Releases 80% of any dot damage. So what is release? Release deals a percentage of the leftover dot debuff damage as an additional damage. What is dot? Damage over time, which will be shock, poison, and bleed effects, right? So again, this is a good unit right here, right? And he works very good with units like um, Hendrix and Keo that are applying those type of effects. 
So rank two, damage goes up to 270%, release goes up to 100%. Rank three, damage goes up to 450%, release goes up to 130%. Rank, uh, sorry, skill two, true spirit, spirit, chastity, fall, fifth form, increase, inflicts damage equal to 82% of attack on all enemies, poisons for three turns. Now, that's on rank one. So again, if you remember how this works, and then you have Hendrix that will go over Hendrix, but we all know how Kia works, right? He applies, was it Ignite, I believe? Every turn, right? Um, and then he's poisoning. So this guy, okay, he's... He's good. I, I mean, in my opinion, he's good. You know, a lot of people say he's kind of fell off compared to the other festival units. In my opinion, I still think he's really good. Um, rank 2, inflicts damage equal to 123% of attack on all enemies. Poison stays at 3 turns. Uh, rank 3, damage goes up to 205%. Poison stays for 3 turns. Ultimate, Tyrant Tempest, inflicts damage equal to 300% of attack on all enemies, applies Abyss effect on the hero, and receives 50% less damage for two turns. Abyss inflicts 30% of damage dealt on all enemies at the start of the enemy's turns. So this character is all about shaving away at your health every turn, okay? He's attacking you all over, and then he's attacking everyone, you know? Um... Awaken power, nullify the cleansing effect on recovery skills on enemies with two or more poison, bleed, shock, corrosion effects. So he completely destroys Blue King. Okay. Um, uh, poison, bleed, shock, corrosion effects. If there are three or more of the aforementioned debuffs, further decreases the enemy's ultimate move gauge by one orb at the end of your turn. So. If there's three or more of these debuffs on the enemy, then then you'll just re also decrease their ultimate move gauge by one orb at the end of your turn. Okay, so again, very, 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 very good unit. Okay, um, so again, if you decide to summon him, I don't blame you. Okay, I guess it's just Hendrick. Gray Desire Demon Hendrix. Green unit, he is a of the demon race. Uh, Dark Nebula, first skill. Inflicts damage equal to 86% of attack on all enemies. Shocks for four turn. Shocks. Additional damage equal to 45% of damage dealt at the end of every turn. Rank 2, damage goes up to 129%. Shock stays for four turns. Rank 3, damage goes up to 215%. Shock stays for four turns. Also, well, it stays at four turns, you know. Um, second skill, Dark Snow. Inflicts damage equal to 76% of attack on all enemies. Makes target bleed for two turns. So again, he works perfectly with King and his passive and King's abilities. He works amazing. Um, rank two, damage goes up to 140, 114%. Bleed stays for two turns. And damage, uh, rank 3 damage goes up to 190% bleed for 2 turns. Uh, ultimate dead end inflicts weak point damage equal to 385% of attack on one enemy 3 times. And now, because the enemy is going to be debuffed by him, let's say you have Keo on the team, and King, you're getting this uh, weak point on the enemy when, you're, when you uh, super attack. There's no question about it. And plus, King... Uh, when King stops the cleansing on recovery skill. Uh, passive Malice. Increase da increases damage of allies' debuff attack skills by 50%. Excludes deathmatch. Well, that doesn't really matter because what you really want them is PvP. Very good. Very, very good unit. Alright, last character is Lilia. Now, for those who've watched my videos in the past, if there's a Lilia on the banner, you know, my relationship with her, we are obviously connected somehow because I will pull five of these, ten of these, <laughs> it never fails. So I am expecting to pull her a lot. I'm expecting that, and for once, I'm happy about that. Uh, Lilia of uh, the Coming of Ruin, Lilia of Desire. He, she's a human unit, um, red unit also, for skill free shooter. Inflicts damage equal to 200% of attack on one enemy. Heals HP of the lowest HP 
I'm sorry, heals HP of the lowest HP ally equal to 80% of damage dealt. In rank 2, a damage goes up to 250%. Um, heals HP of allies equal to 30% of damage dealt. So instead of 80%, it goes down to 30%. And rank three damage goes up to 400%, and the heal is 40%. La Triviate, I believe I said that right or wrong, whatever. Um, rank one inflicts damage equal to 150% of attack on all enemies. Rank two damage stays at 150%, but depletes one ultimate move cage. Um, rank three damage goes up to 250% and depletes three ultimate move cage. And ultimate Leviathan removes buffs on all enemies and inflicts damage to 350%. Now, I just wonder because I want to, I have summoned for every disaster unit, right? So, it's just, it's, to me, it's just common sense I summoned for her. She's not busted, but she's a very good unit. She's still really good, right? Obviously, she wouldn't be too much of a help on the king team, but there is a team for her. I just can't think of it at the top of my head right now. Um, but she she will work good on a team where you just keep removing debuffs. I'm not debuffs. Um, ultimate move gauge. But I'll have to look and figure out what team she can go on. Um, passive power of desire applies corrosion debuff corrosion additional damage at the end of every turn. Basically, what Meliodas blue Meliodas can do. Um, applies corrosion debuffs on enemies with three or less ultimate move gauge for two turn. Reduces attack of enemies with five or more ultimate move gauge orbs by 10% for two turns. Applies when entering battle excludes deathmatch. Now, the second part of the ult of her passive, I mean, by the time the enemy has five, they, they're getting right to all, right? But within that turn, let's say if they get five when their turn is over. Mm, well, uh, well, when they're about to all, I guess it just reduces the, it's just gonna reduce the damage. Cause by the time, you know, again, by the time they get five, they get ready to all, or is it six? It's five, yeah, it's five gauges, right? Yeah, I, believe, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, so there you have it. Three really good units coming tomorrow. Um, again, if you decide you wanna summon, it's not the worst thing in the world. Just do a few, you know, I wish you all the luck, and hopefully you can get them pretty early. If you decide to skip, that's also understandable. You can just get them on the, the one banner. I just want to say, if Assault Moon Meliodas is going to be a festival unit, guess what? Everyone's going to say, saving for loss uh, for Assault Mode Meliodas. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just my, the pattern that I was talking about earlier. JP is always going to have two, one or two festival units before global. So we're always going to know what's to come. And you guys are always going to say the same thing. Oh, we're saving it for that unit. Then the next one comes out. Oh, we're saving it for that unit. It, you know, so just summon. That's all I got to say, just summon. So if you're going to summon, get one copy, be done with it. Then the festival banner comes around, the next festival banner comes around do you know just keep on doing it there's always a good length of time between the banners and then when you don't summon on the regular banners most of those units will be on those festival banners so you're getting not only the festival units if you're lucky you're also getting those other units you did not you decided to skip you did the smart thing and skipped and now you're getting them all at one time you have all them stones that you saved up summoning on these better banners Okay. The only other banner that I believe will that you should summon for, except for this one and except for the one, is the um, Archangel banners. Those two units are must. I mean, you can't skip that. You, you really can't. Um, that and if there's a collab um, banner coming, which I really feel, in order to make a summon, they're going to do a collab. Sooner or later, JP's going to get a collab, and you know when JP gets their collab, soon after that we global gets theirs so they're going to do something in the next two months there's two months coming you have um uh you have the archangels coming that still need to be released you have um shoot there's a 
there's so many other units. I, well, I, wanna, I don't want to say so many. There's a few. I don't think there's too many more units that global that JP has over global. Um, but there are a few more units that are still going to come to global, but not enough to last for two months. So there's going to be things coming up. Um, that will kind of force our hand when it comes to summon, summoning. So we'll just have to wait and see. But that's all I have for this one. This one's kind of gone on too long and already. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Again, guys, I hope you had a great Christmas. Um, uh, if I don't make a video before the new year, uh, then I'm with the happy new year to everyone. And let's start off the next, let's start off 2021 better than we started off 2020. I will catch you guys on the next one. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Can't forget to say that. All right, guys, I'll catch y'all later.